Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to change file attributes on multiple files at once uh, using a graphical user interface called Bulk File Changer. So this is a free tool. Uh, it's just a zip file you download, then you extract it, and you run the executable, so there's nothing to install. So like I said, once you have it extracted, just run Bulk File Changer. And you could just add your files here. You could go to the File menu, Add Files, or you could just drag and drop them. So what I'm going to do is I have these... Uh, pictures and a couple other files in here. We're going to just drag them all in here. So to take action on them, they have to be selected. So just because they're in this window doesn't mean it'll take action on all of them unless they're all selected. So you could you know, select specific ones if you don't want to do them all. But we're going to do all of them here. All right, so once you have them selected, you just go on this guy here, change time attributes. So you have created, modified, and accessed. So if you click on created here. The created will change the uh, date and date created attributes, and then modified will change the modified, and then accessed is for accessed. And then you have this uh, other action you could change on media files, you know, date encoded, date acquired, and that kind of thing. Uh, I would uncheck this because it'll tend to mess up your time if you're changing the time. And then you could do this as well, copy time from attributes of the files like this. And then you could also change uh, file attributes, such as archive and read-only and hidden. So we're going to make these turn on read-only. And we'll change the uh, created date. Let's say, let's do this. 1-1 one, one at 1 o'clock. And then we'll change the modified. To two two at two o'clock, like that, and we have the uh, read only turned on. So, all right, so created one one at one o'clock, modified two two at two o'clock, and then make them read only. So once you have everything set, just click on do it. And you can see you went back here. So we have the uh, date and date created at one one at one o'clock, date modified. 2-2 two, two at 2 o'clock, and if we right-click on one of these here, Properties, you can see that it's read-only as well. Another thing you do too is you can export the items. So let's just call this... Uh, It'll put it in the, in the same location as the executable there. And this will just give you a text file with information about the files here. Then you have some other options here. You know, show grid lines, mark out and even rows. You could export items to a report, choose the columns if you don't want to use the columns that come with it. Then you could uh, cut, copy, and paste. Uh, the items from here if you want to put them somewhere else. All right, I'll put a link in the description where you could download it, and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.